Hello. Ooh. Why, hello, 14 people. Ooh. How's it going? I was having a little technical issue. It's okay. I'm here. I think it's working now. We'll see. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Elena and Jennifer and Susan and Simi and Tammy and Matt. Hey. We just filmed two YouTube videos in a row in one hour. Quality content, I'm sure. Because Dan is leaving. Hey, Kristen. I just shouted you out in a video today. Well, you won't see it until... Wednesday, but, uh, and Dan's leaving tomorrow night to go to Georgia, to Atlanta overnight. So it'll just be me streaming tomorrow. And so we had to film two YouTube videos to have to go up. So we filmed three today. And yes, I look like this. I didn't care. It's fine. We're all here. Hey, Lindsay. And Renee, I'm trying to see everybody. Y'all, I need to put on my glasses. What's the over under that Dan ran the cable? We're going to go with, well, he's outside right now enjoying some fresh air. So we're going to go with zero to none. He definitely didn't do that. But it's okay. We're good. I was on the wrong internet. It was my fault. My technical issue was mine. But I fixed it. Fed the cat. And he fed the cat. Hi. Tommy's busting you. Busting my balls. Because you definitely haven't run the cable. <laughs> no, he was like, what's the over under that Dan ran the cable? None. None. Zero. <laughs> um, I will let you know, Adelaide. I think I'm just going to be listing hard goods at my desk. I think I'm going to do it over there. And uh, you know me. I can talk. So I'll let you know, though. <laughs> Fireball flippers. That's Amanda, right? And David, hey, mate. What's up, everybody? Oi, mate. Do I need to move? Uh, nah. Y'all, did you see me get taken out in the YouTube video today? Seriously, this bubble wrap came and tagged me. <laughs> of course, Dan doesn't edit anything out. And so I'm just like, ah! <laughs> show you the reels. <laughs> it's getting me. Oh my god. Okay, I'll keep you posted. We gotta see if I can figure out how to get on here. I think I can. I ran a television studio. Like, I should be able to figure out an internet streaming platform. That's how I feel, at least. I think, you can do it. I think I can do it. Well, I figured out Steam Yard. Stream or Steam Yard? Stream. Stream Yard. I was the first one to figure that one out, so that's okay. I can do it. You can totally figure it out. You can do anything. It's just, it's just as simple. Oh, God. Top of the evening. <laughs> I don't know if you can top of the evening it, Tommy. That's a little weird. <laughs> top of the evening. <laughs> that's what he said. I love it. Oh, God. Oh, he, he, it was fresh, let me tell you. <laughs> Oh, righty then. I have my Yeti of champagne. Pretty excited about it. It has ice in it. He's in Northern Ireland. Isn't that correct? That's correct. So it's like the middle of the night, huh? That's crazy. Hey, Teresa. Happy Monday to you. Did I miss anyone? Holler if, if I missed you. Happy Monday. No stress Monday. No stress Monday. <laughs> I have not been to Northern Ireland, but it it seems uh, I've been to a lot of Ireland, but not Northern Ireland. But I love it. I love the the whole UK. I love everything. All of that, in including 
like above the UK. Like my uncle is getting stationed in Greenland and they used to live in Nova Scotia, that whole like hemisphere. I'll just take it. I'll take it all. I just love green things and cliffs. So I'm, you know, and water and sheep. Okay. I'm rambling now, but I do, I do very much enjoy. What are you doing? We don't know. We're trying to list our hard goods tonight because they've been piling up. And I just did a junk bag haul. So you guys are going to get a little bit of a, uh, what do you call it? Spoiler alert. That's what you're going to get. Spoiler. I hope there's like something in the junk bags that's amazing. Because I feel like I may have had all duds. Oh, he just wants to seem kind of strange. Like foreign goodness. Tommy thinks he's actually in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Route 30 North. Hey, don't say Lancaster. We got a, we got a girl in here from Lancaster. Woo. Caitlin, where are you at? I don't think Caitlin's here, but she's from Lancaster. Well, right around there. That's because you keep dropping her head. <laughs> All right. So Dan's going to start. I'm going to do Google Lens some of these Tsum Tsum little. Y'all, who's the? You, you could tell me. They'll know. People will know. All right. This is a game show I invented called Name That weird little thing. I like it. Okay, this is the sexy one, okay? This is the sexiest Tsum Tsum I've ever seen. Look at this hair. Who is this? I know I can Google lens it, and I will, but I just want to play a game show. Does anyone know? It's Disney. Who this hot mama is. She's got a little, like, maroon cape on, so that's, that's your first clue. She's got a pretty wicked bob and a little bang action. And Betty Davis eyes. So, <laughs> okay. So, winner gets a prize. I don't know what it is yet, though. Wonder Woman. Is that Disney, though? She does have a cape. I feel like she might be a villain. All right. Well, I'm going to Google Lens there. So, everybody put in your guesses. Oh, Milan. Oh, could be. Milan, Mulan. Mulan. Not so Wonder Wonder Woman. All right, I'll tell you. Hold on. This is while we're getting set up. This is your entertainment. It's me Google lensing things. Lots. Dan's cleaning. Vacuuming something. Okay, this is. We wouldn't have gotten this. We're too old, y'all. This is Tangled Mother. What? Girl, I don't mother goth girl. What does this say? Gothel, mini mother gothel. I don't know what that is. I can't play this game. <laughs> Screenshot my face right now. No, no. <laughs> What is my life? <laughs> Y'all, that thing is three feet tall. I think it's bigger. It's Wait, let's do a comparison here. Come on, let's do it. I think it's 40 inches. So if you guys ever want to know how tall I am, well, <laughs> you're going to see. This thing's 40 inches tall. Because I think I've only seen a couple of you in real life. And so until you see me in real life, and then in real life, everyone goes, you are tiny. So I'm, I'm five foot ten with my shoes. If you can see me. Yes, yeah, so they can see you. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm almost elmo size. You are not almost elmo size. I mean, <laughs> hold it to my head. His feet are not that far off the... <laughs> <laughs> Look, our legs start at the same place. He just has shorter legs. <laughs> That's why I don't like these large plush. <laughs> They're threatening me. Oh my in my god. own existence. Yeah, you, can have, you don't have to dress me. Imagine that. Wait, why are we all slow? I got a little delay. Oh, wait, no, I'm back. I'm back. All right, we're too old for this. I bet the amount of people that search categories is like 0. 0.000. I know. Dang it. I thought it was like a sexy 
villain. I was excited for a second. Not a sexy villain. All right, what about this guy? This is a prince. You don't have to guess. This is definitely a prince of some sort. Okay, and then I got this little German lady. And I say she's German because look at these little pigtails. Oh, shit, you can't see. <laughs> These little pigtails in her little flower skirt. This is definitely a German. And it has a tag, so I can scan that. <laughs> Adelaide did screenshot my face. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yes. This is how I look every time Dan puts one in the cart. I'm like, no. No, no. And he's like, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> And then we can't inevitably cannot fit it in our car every single time. And so then we're in the parking lot trying to shove this huge Elmo in the car and everyone's staring at us trying because there's not enough parking. So they're waiting for our parking spot. <laughs> we're like trying to shove Elmo into our car. It's overfilled with freaking looks like hoarders. All the freaking trash bags. I cannot. I don't do um, pr print sexy guy for sure. Hey. Um, I I don't put things in the vintage category either. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's Anna. Okay. I never saw that movie in my life. But, you know, all the songs because musical theater. All right. Google. Did, I, I almost clicked on the um, eBay camera. That you get eBay cameras back. Y'all, what about the doom stories of eBay? I can't with these people. The sky is falling. <laughs> They're taking away your control. I'm like, oh, Lord. America. Like, that's, I haven't even, I just read, like, comments and video titles. Like, stop. Okay, this guy is Hans. What's Hans from? Frozen? This is Hans. And then there's this little German, I think. Nothing's, oh, 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 oh. Yep, it's Anna. Oh, yeah. Nice. Now, I think this is a Tweedledee or Tweedledum, but this is probably not now that we've got two Frozens. Maybe this one's a Frozen. Look at his little hat. Okay. I'm going to list these guys. I'm going to show you how fast it is to list these things. And I'm not saying this is a good business model for everybody. I enjoy doing it, and it's kind of like time off, and I'm still getting listings done, so... If you think I'm crazy right now, then probably it's not for you. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, this is Kristoff. We have two Kristoffs, a Hans and an Anna. Whoever this is. All right. Well, oh, you know what? I think I have. Um, what's the frozen lady? Elsa. I think I have her from another junk bag. So I can make a lot. Uh oh. Uh oh. Frozen lot. Light it up. Light it up. Yes, Hans Gruber from Die Hard. Yes. <laughs> Die Hard, the Sum Sum. Yes. I love it. <laughs> Hans and Gretel. <laughs> eBay is terrible. Everyone should quit and get a job. Well, you know they're going to steal all your information and take away all your control. Yeah, they're just going to randomly increase your <laughs> promoted listing percentage. Get out of here. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Your brands life. can come in and change your... I'm like, no, that's not what that said. I went back and read it. I'm like, no, we have a reading comprehension problem here. <laughs> and everybody that's in these eBay thrifter groups saying the same thing, they're all repeating. It's like a, what, an echo chamber. Echo chamber yeah. And nobody can read? Can anybody read? Like, just, just step read. up off a bit, set your cup down. You know what I'm saying? Like, just read. Like, read it out loud if, it, if the comprehension is a problem. Because when you read it out loud, I mean, what you're saying makes no sense. Also, no. also, if what you're saying sounds like a conspiracy theory, then I'm just I'm gonna put it out there. Chances are, it probably is. They look like little sausages. <laughs> Dan would eat them. Don't say that. <laughs> These are called sum sums, um, and people collect them. They're not worth a ton, but some of them are. These are not. These are worth like five bucks each. So that's why I'm going to lot them up. I'll just show you the big tag. This is what it looks like. Zoom, zoom. Y'all, look at my fingernail. Dirty, gross. I was planting. So we planted flowers yesterday for my birthday. Uh, I'm trying to not kill flowers. I tried last year and it lasted about three weeks. And so I said, okay, well, we'll try again this year on my birthday. And we already killed one. Okay. 
overnight. Yeah, we had a really gnarly storm last night. We had a gnarly storm and it died overnight. Like I didn't, I got it into the pot and then less than 12 hours later it was dead. It didn't look dead. It just looked. Did you see it? <laughs> yeah, I did. He said it didn't, we don't have a Dan cam. He said it didn't look dead. It just looked dead. Droopy. Uh, I think it's I think drooped. It just got overwatered. It'll be, it'll be all right. Oh, you're so nice. Thank you. Okay, wait. I don't even understand what all this is saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, y'all, y'all gotta keep up. You know, I gotta, mama gotta keep up. Hold on. No, not a master of the two finger scroll. We're still on Die Hard. Okay, I got that. Sausages. Good evening. Hey, Z. eBay has changed so much from when you joined in 1998. Gotta learn to go with the changes. Amen, brother. Best Christmas movie ever. Randomly change my shipping to free. I can't. I can't. I can't. I mean, glitches will happen, sure. Yeah, glitches happen, but the drama between... Oh, jeez. I can't scroll, y'all. I <laughs> suck at this job. The drama between RF and AP is insane. I cannot believe they're acting like children. This is me trying to decipher these acronyms right now. AP, I got AP. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I got it. But I just know that other one by his name. Okay. I don't watch either YouTube really. Does anyone know if a Facebook Marketplace order says it's pending means that it isn't paid for? Yeah, ask the group. I don't know about Facebook Marketplace. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I swear it sounded like a tornado last night. It was very scary around 4 a.m. It was. Yeah, storms usually don't wake me up and it woke me up. Okay, when he says it woke him up, he like blinked. <laughs> <laughs> I was awake, like sitting up awake. This man was like, he like blinked and then was back asleep. <laughs> <laughs> he said they don't normally wake me up. Our whole house was shaking. He snored. I'm like, oh my god! If a tree falls on our house, like, what do I? I'm trying to think of contingency plans. I gotta gotta go grab the cats upstairs and Mojo and everybody, and like trying to manage three cats. This is my whole thinking, and he's just snoring. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> it's not funny. Kind of funny. <laughs> Oh, we have storms until Thursday. Ay, ay, ay. And I'm all alone. Oh, God. I don't know what to do about Texas. I know I have to go to the bathroom when it storms. I'm supposed to get in the bathroom. Oh, my God. Tommy has nicknames for everybody. I love it. Keep it going. I don't want to know what you call us. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Please don't ever tell me. They're laughing at you laughing in the cave. Should I move the webcam so they can see you? I mean, if I'm going to be in there, let me turn this one on. And oh, one God. Here on. we go. Oh, it updated. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, it's updated. Yep, update is complete. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is anyone else having a beverage with me? Anyone? No? I got pink champagne on ice tonight. Well, it's not pink. I lied. But, yo, know, my mom and dad sent a bottle of champagne, well, Prosecco, and two pints of birthday cake rubble ice cream, which is keto ice cream, and almond milk, uh, what do you call it? Whipped cream. Whipped cream. <laughs> so it was like keto lactose intolerance birthday of champions. It was like the most thoughtful. It was so good. So here we go. Here we go. No, no, we're going to come to Northern Ireland. We're going to come to all of the UK. we got UK, and then we're going to do Lower Europe, like Italy. We're mm-hmm. going to do the South. What? There was a... Yeah, that was me sending. Okay. We're going to do the South, uh, Southern Coast of Italy. And we just talked about it yesterday at dinner. We went out for tapas, and Dan's dad was in town. And he has a place in Germany, and he was talking about going to Spain, and then I was talking about going to Italy and going to the UK. And he was like, yeah, let's do it all. I'm like, oh, we're coming. That's why we want to get to the point where we can take months off in the summer, like earn enough money during the year 
and then just take a month off. Like, not get someone to ship our stuff. Just, like, literally shut it down. Because life's too short. That's why we work for ourselves. I want to work, like, my teacher gig, like, 10 months a year. In two months, just... Because in summer, it's slower anyway. That's what everyone says, right? So, bye. I'll catch you on the flip side. Look at our data and figure out when the slowest two months, like, consistent... Because we have four years of data now. Figure out when that is and just take off. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We're both on board. Oh, I appreciate that. Tommy said something really nice. You better take a screenshot. <laughs> Joke. He said, I like real people. You are real. Show the good and bad. No inflated numbers. Not selling crap to viewers. How it should be. Hey, Matt brought our crap, though. Do we still count in your good category? Matt, I sent you a present today when you because you bought something, but I sent you a present you're really going to like. I went, I dug deep in the archives. That's right. Is a good present. If you hear the siren, head for the bathroom. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Stash a blanket. Oh, no. I got, oh, God. And water. I'm not prepared for this. East Coast, East Coast folk are like, what? You got to do what? Yeah, Can you turn the, the volume down on that? The naders. Naders. <laughs> I can't. It's all... It's all the way down. No, Tommy called it crap. Oh, you have a stomach ache. I'm sorry. Oh, you got exposed. Do you have COVID? Did you test? All right, you can let me in now. Can, did you turn the volume all the way down? It's all the way down. Dan's in the cave. Cave cam. Wait, I didn't have you muted. I muted you now. Sorry if you got a echo. echo. It was like cave, 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 cave. <laughs> Captain <laughs> Cave, cave, cave. I love that show as a kid. Man, Man Captain Caveman was the ish. I'm not oh, gonna lie. So good. I could get down with that. And if you don't, I don't want to know nobody that didn't like Captain Caveman. All right. Thumbs up on the live if you liked Captain Caveman or still partake in Captain Caveman. <laughs> Is this echo killing you guys? It's kind of killing me. I can get my AirPods if you want. Memberships Patreon. Mm -hmm. Somebody told us somebody was raising money for an eBay shed. I love it. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. eBay shed. We got an eBay master closet. Mm -hmm. We need a shed. It's basically the size of a shed. Why do we have an eBay shed? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Take lots of um, vitamin C and zinc and vitamin D, aspirina, vitamin D. Most people that have complications, it's they are vitamin D deficient. That's what the blue books are saying. I read medical journals like a crazy person. See if you can get some from Amazon. Some D, zinc, and vitamin C. Okay, Elena, perfect. Scary tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all need to stop. I'm going to lose it. I'm supposed to be working. I'm not doing anything. I'm just drinking. <laughs> hey, I'm like those fart podcasts. I mean, what was it called? What do you call it when it's a podcast, but it's on YouTube? The still a podcast? No podcast. Mm. Remember that when I watched it, it was all about farts? Yeah. It's just me drinking now. About Captain Caveman. Oh, God. Can you hear this cat? Meow. No. No. Well, I mean, Jennifer, she needs to go to the hospital if you're... Do you have oximeter for your finger? I'm not a doctor, y'all. I, like, I'm not, but I do read up on, on this because my family members, we take care of my grandmother, so I have to, you know, make sure I'm trying to keep her out of harm's way. David, what time is it where you are? Was Dan a Fall Guy fan? I remember the Fall Guy. 
like I, as a little kid. I was a little kid watching that. He's trying to sound younger. He was a little kid. He was fourteen. Okay. <laughs> How old were you? I mean, that show was like, if I remember correctly, that show was like mid eighties. So I must have been like seven or seven to ten, probably. Seven to ten. <laughs> seven to ten. Um, <laughs> that was accidental. Mm-hmm. My favorite was uh, Captain Planet and Tailspin. Those were the best. Tailspin was so good. We need a Tailspin spinoff. Oh, Jen, cheers. Oh, my gosh. Seriously, Ladybug has had COVID four times. Poor oh thing. Ay, ay, ay. 156 a.m. You work night hours. I like that. That's how I work, too. I mean, I'm clearly not working right now, but if I had my way, it would be at night. There's a serious delay. I don't know what the fall guy is. I don't think I've ever watched that. It's like an 80s leather jacket, Bronco Dragon, tough guy show. <laughs> okay. I think my dad really liked it. Oh, you're off work. I see. Okay. So you have a day job as well. I see. Jen and I are drinking. We're having a little cocktail. Oh, gosh. That's the reason I had to stay in D.C. for so long, because one of my family members got COVID and couldn't come back. Still out there. It's unfortunate. Didn't we already, didn't we already do these, save the earth buttons? I feel like I already took pictures of these. So I already missed it. Though. Well, I don't... Yeah? I have not yet. Um, do you want me to look on Vendu? Is that what you're asking? Sure. Okay. Because I don't really have any other way of knowing what you took a photo of. <laughs> because maybe you took the photo, but then... Oh, right. no, they're listed. They're listed. Okay. They're on Vendu, at least. I do reselling as a hobby part-time and work full-time as a cleaner in a nursing home. Oh, that's great. I don't know how you do it. I get so emotional over old people. That's really good work. I'm happy that you do that. I just watched all of Magnum P.I. Yes. I watched the whole Magnum series. My mom loved Tom Selleck back in the day. We watched it like every night. For every oh, we're to get a little crush week. on Tom. A little crush. It was a big old crush. <laughs> That's funny. Do you ever watch Blue Bloods? Okay, Tommy just shat himself. I'm just <laughs> keeping everyone updated because when you watch the replay, it's I don't think you can get to the comments that easily. Uh he's walking through the neighborhood and a person around the corner has a Roomba type lawnmower. Where do I get one? Scared the F out of me. <laughs> Game creeping up the hill silently. I want a Roomba lawnmower. No. Our lawn our we have lawn people and they suck. I hope they're watching this. I don't know if they know we exist. <laughs> they suck so bad. Badly. Excuse me. Worst lawn people yeah. ever. Oh. I'm trying to send you the you know, sort of photo room the first batch of stuff that I finished there. Tommy has watched Blue Bloods. <laughs> <laughs> so when my my grandmother was getting alzheimer's she has it bad now but when it was first happening she was watching blue buds like we she also has ocd which is where i get it i mean seriously she does but she was watching blue bloods obsessively like eight to ten episodes a day and they were trying to get her off of blue bloods like stop watching blue bloods and then my parents 
literally had been staying with her for a week. And then my dad walks into the room. She has been watching Blue Bloods for eight hours a day. My dad walks in the room and she goes, Steve, you ever seen Blue Bloods? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, you've been watching it for 24 hours straight. Yeah, I think I've seen it. <laughs> but she like totally didn't even remember that he was in the house or that she's watching episode forever. And that's when we knew we were like, yeah, um, <laughs> this isn't going to be good. Have a great night, David. Sign it off. How can you read from there? <laughs> You're so far away. Nah. I'm like a foot away and I cannot read. <laughs> oh, Husqvarna. That, they make my sewing machine. It's a good brand. Renee has horses. They're her lawnmower. So we need some horses. I love that. Bye, David. Fall Guy was Lee Majors. Why do I know that name? And Six Million Dollar Man. Mm -hmm. And some hot 80s model. Mm. Was the 80s model this hot? Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was a sexy villain. I'm here for it. It's like, okay, Zoom Zoom. All right, what are we doing? Uh, I'm photo rooming the first batch of stuff. Oh, God. So I have to go to the eBay and go to drops? Yeah. Okay, so. so that way, if, you know, somebody comes in and is like, when are they listing? We can actually have some listings done. They seem like a rowdy bunch that's going to get pissed if we don't list. No, not the, not necessarily the people in the comments, but, you know, I don't know. For the replay people. True that. All right, I got to open up a window here. It's already open. No. I had to reconnect because you were on the wrong internet, okay? Oh, <laughs> snap. So I was a little bit late, and everybody was like, why didn't Dan plug it in? I was like, actually, it was my <laughs> fault because I was on the wrong internet, but actually it was his fault, but I was trying to say face, but now I just revealed it. It was his fault. It's my fault. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm going to go to eBay here. You're going to see my crappy numbers. Hey, get out of our numbers. Stop looking. Get away. Stop looking at my numbers. You're not sharing that screen yet, so it's okay. No, they can see my numbers. I don't care. Show them off. Get away. <laughs> Selling. Well, $264 yesterday. 194 today. We've gotten so many lowball offers. These offers right here are all bad. I need to respond to them. I want land so I can buy a llama alpaca. I love it. Oh, good. Tracy's been using the dry erase board for measurements. Sweet. <laughs> God. Yeah, I know, Tommy. I know. I know. We don't no, it drives me crazy. We just have to tell people what to do. You're so right. It drives me crazy. <laughs> All right, what am I doing? Drafts, listings. Get into those drafts. Drafts. I have already pre-drafted this stuff. What do you? What did? What did you take pictures of? Uh, all these little plushies right here. So this little. Green dinosaur, he's first. Okay, green dinosaur, green dinosaur, green dinosaur, green dinosaur, stop. <laughs> Were there Fisher Price little people? No whammies, no whammies. Uh, there might be. There's like, I haven't done anything in the Ziploc bags yet. Do these make my butt looks big? No. Land Before Time Chomper. No, you're getting close. I don't see a green dinosaur. It's a. Ow. Make believe something green dinosaur. Make believe ideas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. No, but I still have that Spice Rex thing. <laughs> we need to listen. I gotta, it. I know I gotta auction that thing. I think I think that's the way to do it. And then post in the Reddit thread where people were looking for it. 
hey, I found this option. <laughs> This is no good. I can't find the dinosaur. Not showing up? No. Somebody's screaming at me. Search at the top. Is that auction professor has, has made a ton of money showing people souls that aren't even his for years. It's crazy. Crazy! Everybody wants llamas. No? Is there a ticket? Yeah. What the heck? Is it already listed? Oh, you're such a stoner. <laughs> What's it called? Make believe. <laughs> okay. What about this one? <laughs> what about Mandy? Is Mandy listed? Mandy. The Beanie Boo. Let's see. I don't know which Beanie Boo that is. Beanie Boo? I think, yeah. Oh, you can't remember when you're taking a picture of something. I don't think we have any Beanie Boo. Oh, Mandy the Poodle. Yes. yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. I have a draft here. Okay. That's a lot of master's degrees. I mean, Amy has a lot too, but not 29. Who has 29? <laughs> I'm sure auction, is an auction professor. I'm sure it's used. Um, I have no idea. So I made skeleton drafts, and this is what I recommend if you're trying to list quickly by yourself. So basically you find what you're selling, and then you sell similar and just save it. So that's why I'm like rearranging the title. I didn't do anything to these listings. What is, I need to see this thing. Oh, it's, uh, this thing. <laughs> Put it in the camera. <laughs> okay, they got it. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do, you my boy, Blue. <laughs> Every single time. Why does it do that? Uh, I'm going to mark this up because 1095 ain't worth my time. And then the sale will be on and the promotions. And hopefully someone will say free shipping ain't worth my time. Right. Yeah, Jennifer said he's a De Debbie Downer 100% of the time. Who? Oh, I love how everyone just comes on here and trash talks people. <laughs> Pinky's up. I've done that while looking up comms in the thrift store to save time. A hundred percent, Randy. It's like the best. I mean, um, Matt, it's the best. I thought you said Randy. It's the best thing that you can do to go fast. Yep. Why would you comp something and then comp it again? Right. I'm ready. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we call them skeleton drafts. Just so we can distinguish those from regular drafts. So I know I need to go back and fill them in. Yeah, I don't I don't really buy into any conspiracy theories ever because especially about reselling, because at the end of the day, eBay needs us to make money. Mm. It's always like they're cutting out the sell. No, 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 they're not. They don't make money if we don't make money. Why would they make it impossible for us to make money? It doesn't make any logical sense. None. Yeah. <clears throat> they might make it more expensive. <laughs> what am I listing right now? <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> and we've lost her, everybody. Right. What is this? <laughs> I don't know, okay? I don't know. I don't know you. <laughs> you just sound like... <laughs> That's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> Thank you. This is high quality content for you guys. 
<laughs> Only for you. Oh, look, 100% free shipping. Whoops. Now, this is a time where I need to do free shipping. This is the only time I do free shipping, you guys. If it's 100% of the soldier free shipping, I can't compete. And I hold on to this thing for the rest of my life. <laughs> Matt screaming, that's my purse. <laughs> I can't. Somebody pushed the doorbell button. What is happening? I'm getting a delivery. Someone's at our house? That's what it says. You better go see. Are you going to talk to them? It probably won't work. It never does. Oh, who's these people? Is it children? No. It's Greenpeace. Oh, jeez. It says, no solicitors on our door. Like, in all capital letters. Y'all, Greenpeace is at our house at 8, 12 p.m. Like, it's a little late for a visit. I feel like that's a scam. Don't you think? Uh, it's dark it's outside. Green, two people. Greenpeace wouldn't be here in the dark. They've already come by last week when you were gone. Get out of here. I love listing shoes. I've sold the exact model before, just similar on my own listings and change the size and photos so quick. Just did it with two pairs of Converse. Perfect. I love it. I love it. I love it. Explain to the board that your numbers are down because you made sales worse. Exactly. And Dan and I talk about this all the time with Poshmark and eBay. We're like, they are a public company. <laughs> they literally can't shut you out because they have investors and boards that have their interest in mind. Like, it's so stupid to think of conspiracy theories when it comes to reselling. It's so stupid. Yeah. There's no weight. How do you say water weight? It doesn't, what? It doesn't hold water. Doesn't hold water. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They have to knock on doors until nine. Really? How do you know about this? Are you ready for the next thing? Oh, yeah. What is it? Uh, Boyd's Bear. Feel Better Bear. Oh, we need to give this to um, all the people with the COVIDs to feel better, Bear. Get well soon. Yeah, that's good. Why sell similar if somebody else is listening when I know my is exactly right? Don't feed them after midnight. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, funny. All right, I'm ready. I'm not going to talk to them. He's working. Dan's dad is trying to convince us to go and get it like an outside of the house workspace. And we're both like, then we'd have to get dressed and go somewhere. <laughs> He was like, yeah, but it would separate your work from home life. And we were like, mm, hard pass. <laughs> I get what he's saying. But then it would feel like a job to me. Right now, it doesn't feel so jobby. It is a job, but it doesn't feel like I have to go to work. Right. I just walk into my bedroom after breakfast and then walk to my closet. <laughs> But it doesn't feel like I'm going to work. Most of the time, I don't even get dressed until we're about to film a YouTube video in the afternoon. Like I'm still in my pajamas and my robe and stuff. That's how I prefer. It's my preferred state of being. <laughs> I'm sick in pink mimosa. Hey, girl. Ben and Jerry's chocolate fudge brownie. Mmm. Oh, gosh, Megan, you're right. But I, I would never have that on my door. I have multiracial gnomes in my garden in the front of my house, okay? <laughs> and my doormat says, be proud, and it's a rainbow. I don't think they would believe we had guns. Oh, 
But again, it, we, we didn't put that sticker there. Yeah, we didn't the put that sticker. It was there. But it's still there. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. DMC says, because I worked in an office doing political outreach and another group shared space with us, they were Greenpeace and PETA canvassers and they had to be out until 9 p.m. and return by 9 p.m. And they only had their people out till 6.30, which makes sense. 9 p.m. You know how mad I would be if someone showed up my door at like 8.45 I don't care. I mean, I do support Greenpeace. You know, we, we give to a lot of charities. They're not one of them. But if they came at a reasonable time and had a reasonable thing, I could probably give them like nine bucks a month or something. We do that with a lot of, uh, hey, hit us up with your charities. Apparently, we just, you know. I give. I think we give $11 to HRC. HRC. And then before I met Dan, I had three adopted children. You know, where you pay money every month. I couldn't. I was in San Francisco and they kept stopping me. And I'm like, oh, my God. So I ended up with three children. They kept sending me photos. I know it wasn't my child, but, like, I'm such a sucker. All right. So the key when you're making these skeleton drafts is to put in the price because that doesn't save when you do a cell similar just to save it. The price doesn't save with it. So you have to enter the price. Okay. That's right. Or else you have to comp it again to get the price. That's right. And I always make it a habit to enter the price that things are selling at and then I can mark it up from there. I just do it the same every time. Hospital gift? Is that a thing? Yeah. Whatever. So this means that they're selling at twelve ninety five. I put it. This is my own system. So if you don't have a system, then you're gonna get all confused. I always put it with the sold, the average sold prices. Like I know I could sell it for twelve ninety five, which means I'm gonna list it at like sixteen ninety five. First class shipping. Okay. Really suck for the canvassers in their group because it was during election time, so it's completely dark by 6.30. Oh, my gosh. No. That's, that's no good. Ready for the next? Okay, what's the next one? <clears throat> uh, the, does this make my butt look big? Does this make my butt look big? Girl, I think my butt getting big. Remember that? No? No. What? It's like a Nelly song. I believe it. No. Oh. Okay. I don't remember that. I think it's Nelly. <laughs> I always like buying the homeless dude outside of the convenience store at 2 a.m. at Pack of Smokes and some chips when I was in college. My favorite kind of charity. See, Jennifer knows it's hot in her. That's that song. Yeah. You know, it's getting hot in her. Yeah, I don't know any of the words. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <whatever. clears throat> um, I like doing that kind of charity as well. Okay, so I'm going to put gag gift in the title. I'm ready for pictures. Thirty-five people working. That's awesome. Including oh, us so. is 36. <clears throat> it's very interesting because we get off the live. And I know you guys told me this, but I'm kind of a hard head if you didn't know. And so I didn't quite believe you. But 
a bunch of people said it's like a totally different audience. So we'll post our YouTube video and then there'll be 35 people over here during the live and then we'll get off the live and people will, you know, 35 people will have commented on the YouTube video while the live's going on separate people. Some people don't like lives, right? So interesting. Can I send you the pictures? Yeah. Because I just thought, you know, okay, some people aren't. One of them has an image error, but I think it's fine. I just thought some people weren't watching at night or whatever. But they're watching our YouTube video. They're just not watching a live. So now I believe you. <laughs> Matt prefers lives. I don't watch lives, so I don't know what I prefer. You watch some lives. I just watched that fart one the other day because it, yeah. it just auto played. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. <clears throat> but I don't. I don't. But I don't know if it was about re if it was reselling or not. I don't know. I'm not really sure how this whole, the whole live thing works. What did I put this as? Use or new? New. Oh, easy, Amy. Sure, you're getting texts. It really does. Do these make my butt look big? I have no idea what this is. But we do sell a lot of this weird stuff. Like we just sold this like over the hill 40 plus. I don't want to talk about it. Anyway. <laughs> the legend continues. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I might make this pretty high. I price my plush higher. I don't care what anyone says. I think people underprice plush all the time. That's just my own point of view. You don't have to listen to me. Just look at my solds versus what other people sell it for. I think there's like this whole people have a perceived value of something if you price it higher. I mean, $20 is not high. But like, oh, maybe mine's better because it's new with tags and it's $20. So maybe if you're getting it for a gift, you want the good gift. You don't want the crappy one. So they'll pay $20 and get mine. Look at this little girl. She really does. Do these make my butt look? I don't know what these are. Like, what's these? I don't know. The pants, probably. Oh, the pants. The pants. Uh-oh, Tommy's doing math. Hold on, I gotta catch up. It's so interesting. I think that's just so Tommy watches 90% of lives and Matt was saying he likes lives. Oh, my Peter screen is too small for you to see. I'm sorry. But she still likes watching. Oh, you watch it on your phone. I see. An amazing queen doted her high-end collection. I'm here for it. I want to list it properly. <laughs> so, yeah, there's, it's 2X is um, a plus size. So you have to go down to where it says the plus. It'll say, like, type. But you're saying that the size was extra, extra large. And there's not for women? There should be. 
Normally, an extra, extra large is a men's size. But I thought there was the option. I, I could be wrong. Oh, nice clown fish. Vintage Pendleton. Cool. We do well with that unless it's like a blazer. We, we have trouble moving those for the most part. Okay, what's the next thing? Um, the purple Littlefoot. The purple chomper. Yeah. I knew it was Littlefoot. I knew it as soon as I saw it. <laughs> if Here's a fun fact about Amy. If there is Land of Before Time on TV and it's I'm scrolling, have to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never not watch it. happen to this. Something's very really weird with this title. I don't know. Rare. I feel like it's kind of rare. All right, you can send them. Okay. Megan, stop. That's so freaking nice. You don't have to do that. I mean, we'll be here for you. We're always here. She said most of her subscriptions go live at the same time. And she chooses to come here. You really don't have to do that. Oh, my God. It's so nice. All I'm doing is making jokes and drinking wine. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I should be more content aware. Give you guys more quality. I didn't know you were skipping. What if somebody else has quality out there and you're skipping it? Ha ha. I'll be better. All right. Look at this little foot. I was like, this is a purple little foot. Oh, this isn't in the action figures category, y'all. This happens with plush a lot. And I, it's not good. Oh, Matt, always wanted to find a tree star. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I will never cast this spell. I am kind of witchy like that, though. But, like, I'm a good witch. But I wouldn't cast any bad spells. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't take a nap. No, Jen, we're working. No naps. Did you mean to put this in bin X? <sighs> birthday. I always put birthday. I don't know why. Anything can be for your birthday. Okay, what's the next one? Uh, one second, please. Okay, we're getting stuff done. It's little stuff, but it needs to get done. Meep. Meep, meep, meep. What if you punch on the wall? The cat is right above Dan's head, if you're wondering what's happening. Yeah, 
Yes, Megan, that's what we're here for. Getting work done and making money. You know, I I feel the same way that you do, and I often voice that to Dan. So I'm glad that you said it out loud. Megan said, most resellers' lives are answering questions I could look up on my own time. True. I feel that about YouTube videos in general and lives. Well, I've only watched a couple lives, but I'm always like, why can't people just look it up? <laughs> I'll keep drinking so I don't get sleepy. That's okay. some sound advice. I just have one champagne, but if you put ice in it, it lasts a long time. What? What's the next one? Sorry. You never told me. Okay. Yeah, I've told you guys a hundred times. I'm not here for you. I'm here for me. That's honest. Like, we don't work unless we're here. So the fact that you guys are here is, like, super bonus. We cannot work by ourselves. I don't know what it is. We're, like, challenged. So if we don't get work done here, we don't get work done, period. <laughs> Dang it. We used to work during the day. But somehow we got out of that. We do work during the day still. No, but like we used to list stuff during the day. Yeah. When I say work, I mean list. Which as a reseller, if you're not listing, you're... <clears throat> are you actually a reseller? Like... Okay, next up is a little more uh, black and white cat. Cat stuff. Da, 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 da. Come join the party. Oh, God. Oh, God. Are you sure this are? Oh, yeah. Flopsy. Amy, I went to this first Friday. We spent three hours. I love plush at the end of this trip and had two cards. <laughs> We're sorry. We're really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Cashier's draw hit the floor. Ooh, blend your ice and Moscato into a slushy. Okay. I could get behind this. I'm very, very interested. What? Blending. Prosecco yeah, Prosecco slushy. Oh, we, we totally have to blend it. Prosecco Um, I am ready for pictures. Cats. What? I'm ready for pictures. Oh. You told me. Yep, I know. All right. Here you go. <laughs> what? What were you trying to... You can still just send pictures. You can keep doing it. Is there more stuff in the light box that's ready to go? I see stuff in there, but I don't think it has any tickets. I did all... Uh, I didn't do tickets, but I did the belts. But I just didn't do tickets. Okay. Um... There's a couple of things I can give you. Or we could just do like the ties and things we know we're going to sell. We could do Elmo. Please do Elmo so you can take him out to the garage. Because I am not going to sit in here while you're out of town with that thing freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot. <laughs> All right. Um, come here, buddy. <sighs> No, you're not a storage unit, DMC. If you're here, you're going to start listing. We got Jen to list something. Remember, she didn't list anything for like 45 years. Yeah, right? Every live, she was like, you know what? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> and then she finally, she's like, I listed something. <laughs> <laughs> it's positive peer pressure. Oh, my God. Dan is wiping this his ass. <laughs> He's... I'm sorry. His butt. I shouldn't say that. You can say whatever you want. We're not monetized on this channel. <laughs> This looks so foul. Can people see what you're doing? It is disgusting, actually. Is it doo doo on his butt? It might be. Oh, stop. Mm -mm. No, no, sir. You better spray that Folex. No, this is. Not... Mm -hmm. It's like chocolate. It's yeah. on all the plush from that store. I don't get it. 
I know Tommy is at home being like, that shit. <laughs> but it doesn't smell like it. I ain't gonna try and find out. Might Ever run and find out. find out. <laughs> the funny part is when the second cashier saw us, she offered to ring us up the second buggy. But I had a few things for personal mixed use. And, oh, it's funny. This girl walked away. Bye. I list during the day and listen to y'all in the evening, sometimes crossposting. Well, that's good. Crossposting is like kind of like listing. It still gets your items out there. Hey, Sal, how are you? Sal's heavy today. All right. <clears throat> she left this poor issue to handle on her on his own. He probably would have quit. I love it. I hope you make a lot of money. I mean, some of the biggest flips we've ever had have been plush. I don't care what anybody says. If people make fun of me behind my back, I don't care. Because seriously, we made like $350 on a plush. And it's so easy. I mean, other than the fact that Dan has to clean crap off this guy's butt right now. <laughs> <clears throat> it's been It's been very lucrative. This is like y'all's office provides a going into work mentality. Exactly right. But we don't have to leave our house, which is great. Um, look, eBay's glitching again right here. Ugh, it won't add the promoted. I'll, I'll go through and add them later. But it's because they're taking my control. That's right. <laughs> what if we became... I've already made that trip up in just two days. What trip? Where you go? Hold on. I have a hard time watching the bins vids and no one wears gloves. I know. Yeah, I know. Good. We should be better about that. Yeah. Hey, Randy. Oh, my God. You've already been back in two days. I'm telling you, there's so much money to be made in plush. And... Especially if you, and not all, like the plush we're listing right now is for sure not the cream of the crop. But when we're on our really good reselling days, we find plush that's $100 over and over and over again. So like, you've seen our solds, right? That's the other thing. If you guys only watch lives, so you haven't seen our solds. We sell plush over $100 regularly. And we used to be like, oh, God, let's not show it. Like, it's so embarrassing. Now, I'm not embarrassed at $100 about anything. I'd sell poopy shorts for $100. I don't care. Someone will buy them. Like $200. $200. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We do not care. All right, Elmo, get in there. Wait, what about this tall Easter money, too? Can we get him out to the garage? Yeah, maybe. Wait, hand me this. We never hold this stuff. Maybe. What is this? Okay, I, I think this is Diana. All right, what's the next one? Um, one. What is this? The little pumpkin, little people car thing. Oh, here's those deodorants. I've been looking for these. Oh, wow, there you go. I want to list them because they're gonna sell. We got this big like junk bag of deodorants, and you just have to take a picture of one, and we can do all the multi quantities. These deodorants were selling crazy high. Anybody need some Mitchum? <laughs> Look at me hawking my goods. <laughs> Get on whatnot to a Mitchum auction. <laughs> all the Mitchums. Oh, all like you can handle, bro. Pressure. And the, see, pressure we should so list that stuff because, y'all, every time we list a blood pressure cup, it sells like immediately. Can I check my blood pressure? Yeah, check it. See if it's high. Man, this stuff smells really strong. It does. Woo! Um, it says powerful. Oh, this thing. Okay, that's Cinderella. Yeah. We don't wear gloves at the bins, but we do hand sanitize when we come out and then, like, shower when we get home. Because <laughs> mm, so much of reselling for me is tactile. I don't think I would be able to feel, like, especially with the clothes, I can feel quality and I'll pull it out. What in the world is this man doing? That's the Snow White float, right? I don't know. You gotta help me out here. You gotta, 
<laughs> oh, wait. No, no. Cinderella. What are you doing? I'm checking my blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Tested works. <laughs> it's not letting you didn't let me get the insulin. No, I didn't get it. I know, but you have to go all the way back. There you go. So I got tourniquet. Whoa, your hand is in my face. Sorry, <laughs> hey, Tracy. Yeah, I know it cringes a lot of people out, but I'm I'm with Tracy. I can't wear. I have to feel the stuff, especially clothes, even though it's gross, and even though it's dangerous, like. You can get cut. There's always broken glass. Dan's blood pressure cuffing. You can't see him, but he is. <laughs> Why don't you do it in front of the camera? They want to see. Barbie <laughs> stop Celeste. I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Did you read that? No. I don't wear gloves either. My hubby has a whole old pair of barbecue tongs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you killed me. Did it work? It worked. 119 over 80 with a pulse of 78. Hey, that's good. Isn't 120 over 80 perfect? We don't know. Is that good, nurse people? It's pretty, it's pretty Got good. any nurses here? All right. You ready for these pictures? So are you going to take a picture of that and list it? That's great. Uh, yeah. It's way more valuable to list that stuff than waste our time listing a freaking carriage. True. Little people carriage. All right. I'm ready for the little people carriage. <laughs> The Cinderella carriage. Uh. Yeah, exactly right. Dan is perfect. No, see, now I got this stuff, but I didn't remember if this is, this is a pumpkin. It's got to be Cinderella. Yeah, with the mice? Yeah. I got all of these in one junk bag, and they're, I mean, they're not worth a ton, but they, the sell-through was good. Okay. I'll sell it. I don't care. And just in case, you, see, now that I know that you guys just watch lives, a lot of you don't watch the videos... You don't know what we regularly sell. This stuff is supplemental. Like whatever we're listing tonight is maybe 10% of our sales. Most of our sales are high-end clothing, electronics, and high-end flush. High-end meaning expensive. But we do like to list the supplemental stuff in case sales are slow. It helps to get conversions and that helps boost us in the algorithm, we feel. Y'all need to stop. Hold on. There's a Beavis and Butthead comment. I gotta go up. I gotta go up. Yeah. Okay, everyone's saying 120 over 80 is baseline. Great. Pretty freaking baseline. Oh my god. Renee said, I regularly reach into a cow's woohoo to pull out a calf with no gloves. <laughs> <clears throat> I love it. My eldest son has Beavis on his left foot and Butthead on his right. Full color, like three inch characters. I That's love amazing. it. Oh my god, we have so much Beavis and Butthead in our house. Oh, we bought these blood pressure cuffs at the bins, so we were just testing them. Oh my god, stop. Tommy's talking about fecal matter. Here we go. See, now where that podcast talks about farts. <laughs> that happened quickly. It took a turn. Son of a I was helping with Johnny Depp's trial. Happy birthday. What were you doing? I'm so interested. Thank you. I watch any textile info video you upload. I really need to learn a little bit more. So, Tracy, did you watch the beginnings of every video in February? 
because that's a, a large chunk of it. And then I was going to do some textile like specialty ones, just standoff videos. I mean, you don't have to watch those whole daily grind videos because they're super long. But at the very beginning of every video in February, I did a topic on fabric that I think is really, really helpful. Yeah, super helpful. It's like super basic. And you're like, I don't need to know this. But then when you start like typing in things to look for comps and you're like knit pants or twill pants, it makes your life so much easier. I talked about cotton, silk, um, synthetics, wool. Is that it? Hmm. Yeah, I don't even remember. It was a lot. It was like 20, like I said, it was during every weekday. So yeah. It was at 20. We really want to make a compilation of it. Yeah. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, the tower is next. We, that's one way to put it, Renee. Odds and ends. Speaking of fecal matter, y'all need to stop. She said, Tracy said, can you cut them up and make them into one video for me? I knew, I knew exactly how you're saying it. Ask Dan. He's going to be on a plane. I don't know. I deleted all the videos and stuff off my phone because it was taking up ridiculous amounts of space. Yeah. There's still like scattered spots of mud, like little tiny ones. Like on his arm and stuff. Does it matter? On the elbow? No, but you should clean them. Yeah. Heavy cerveza. You ready for the next thing? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. I agree, Tracy. Even like. I mean, I have a degree in it, but doing the research for each video was very surprising to me in certain aspects. So even if you're around it, there's always so much more. I was using books to do the lessons. I wasn't just spouting off stuff I know. But I thought I had a pretty good handle on it. But it turns out that there is a lot I didn't know. But ever since then, and since refreshing myself, I'm much better at describing things. Like, it's insane. Just by even refreshing myself. And then I can fill in all the specifics, too, and I think that helps sell things. Okay, what's the next thing? You need to stop. I actually have a degree in this. Do you want to see it? I'm about to go get it. What's the um, next thing you said? <clears throat> the Rapunzel. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, Lord. Yep. Rapunzel Tower. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one was a little more rare. Okay. Okay, good. I wasn't trying to tout my degree. I was just trying to say that um, I thought I had a good knowledge of it, but apparently a degree doesn't tell you everything, you know? I would just, like, prep. I felt like a teacher again, you know, have prep before each video, and then I was like, oh, that's how that works. What am I doing? No rip stains or tears. It's plastic. What am I doing? <laughs> All right, send them. Send them. I've never, I've only watched the auction professor a handful of times. I've never heard him talk about his degrees. I wonder what his degrees are in. I just have an addiction to school, particularly free school. If somebody wants to offer me free schooling, I'm going to go every time. Free shipping. I guess I have to do that. No. Oh, I know why. I know why. I know. I'm going to not do free shipping.
I know. I, you know, I keep trying to like, I'm trying not to go back to teaching. That's why I do YouTube. So don't encourage me, please. I make more money doing reselling than I do teaching. And I had like 10 people call me last week. It was insane. All the teachers are quitting. All the teachers are quitting. Everyone's calling me. But I, I just, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I can just teach on YouTube. It's fine. Where's James? Who's James? Wait, where am I? I'm, I'm missing comments. Real question, Tommy. Has Amy ever been a regional manager? No, I have not. Who's a regional manager? I found a vintage Desco wear orange flame pan today. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I had found that out earlier in my life as well about Le Creuset. But Le Creuset also has their own vintage stuff too. Oh, bless Julia Child. I used to watch her growing up. Teresa! She said, you teach well. I was 80% Poshmark seller until this year, but you've really demystified eBay for me. I just looked at my sales and they're up 65% this much. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo. Did you all see my cape? I got a new cape. Okay. That's amazing. eBay it makes it... Everyone's so scared of eBay because of Instagram. Uh -huh. We were. Yep. And then when you just get there, you're like, ah, oh, I can do this. I can do this. Tracy avoids Facebook of all costs. I don't blame you. The Facebook group is good, though. Ours is... Um, no, I'm not telling you to get on Facebook if you're not there already. But I would say if you're in a group like eBay Thrifters, a group of a-holes, and you need help, our group is fantastic. I mean, some people today ask some really basic questions. I mean, they would have gotten slaughtered in these bigger groups. Like, let me Google that for you.com kind of thing. You know how people are. And the people in our group were so kind. People in our group will comp things for you. They'll put a picture up and people will spend like, I don't know how long it takes them, but they'll send you screenshots of comps and worth points. And everyone is so kind. I'm well, sure that's that, the only rule. Don't be an asshole. Yeah, I mean, that is our one rule. And as soon as someone is, they're out. And But we haven't had that yet. And it's kind of like, you know, if you breed a culture of this positivity and no one sees anyone else going after people for simple questions, everyone learns from it. Because some people might have had the same simple question but are afraid to ask, you know. And everyone's just so cool and kind and knowledgeable. Oh, my gosh. I have, like, ten group experts. And I put people as group experts when they know more than me. And I'm like, oh, my God, you guys are so smart. So it's a really – if you ever need help and you're like, I'm at my wit's end, I can't figure this out, go to the group. It's worth it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now I'm off my soapbox. Ocean Perfection Professor, Regional Manager of Golden Corral. <laughs> <laughs> also a balloon maker at Disney for 62 years. <laughs> I think she's making an office job. I got it. We don't... Um... Hey, Gravity Goods, Cameron. Julia and Julia, I love them. Oh, gosh, I watched that movie so many times. It's so good. I'm catching up one second. Okay. I'm never at the um, personal page with that group is so, so helpful. I totally agree. I know what you're talking about. I've seen that movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cameron! 
don't you put any a-holes in the group that's the one there's a there's a rule or one rule I had a panic moment and the group brought me out of my hyperventilation. <laughs> Same. That's happened to me before too. <clears throat> oh, send a picture, Tracy. We need to see your new hair. She chopped it off. I chopped mine off. That feels so much better. Okay. Sorry. You guys are just staring at this. What's the next thing? Um, a little mermaid cart. Okay. You know what, though? I paid a dollar for this um, junk bag, and I bet you I'm going to end up making a hundred bucks off of it. Yeah. Even though these are all little, like fourteen dollar sales, there's so many of them. Bet you, and somebody might buy multiples. I know. I told you that. Oh, that Plus, stuff. I just, I set him in here, and he like posed himself. Like, Is he real cute? Oh, yeah. Well, we just sold an Easter thing today. No seasons on eBay. On the bay. <laughs> it's one of my like pet peeves. Cringe worthy when people say the bay. You do free shipping on this stuff. This is not gonna happen. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I think this one might be taller than me. This guy came from the Austin bins. And I think he's as, as tall as Elmo. <laughs> They're friends. No, Elmo's shorter for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I so I passed this thing in Austin. I'm like, <laughs> um, I literally passed it, looked at it, and I went, in my head, Dan's going to pick that up, son of a... And then I passed Dan, like, an hour later, it's in his cart. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Not sorry. Did you send me the pictures? No. I'm oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. What was that? Yeah, I have like 17 moderators. Don't, don't like Kenton. My moderators in that group are like my rider dies. They don't play. They do not play. They, like, I would never make someone a moderator that I didn't like know through and through. And these women that are moderators, I would feel comfortable sending them like into battle as myself. Like on Ozark when he has to be the drug lord. You know what I mean? Spoiler alert. No, that's not a spoiler. <laughs> nothing happens, nothing. But that's how I feel about my moderators. There would be like no discussion. Boom, gone. Okay. <clears throat> What's next? Next. I had to rid myself of the straggle from the COVID loss. Oh. Wow. I, I know that it changes your hair, but dang. If you want some good product recommendations, just like ask me. It's a little house one. Um, well, Dan's a moderator. He's a man. I'm just going to be honest. The women in my life have much better uh, judgment. Snow White. Snow White. With the birds. Tommy's like, why aren't there any man moderators? So we got one. Does anyone want to volunteer? Me. Hey.
<laughs> Randy was too focused to work. No, that's perfect. That's like the best compliment ever. All right, we're gonna do this. Uh, Snow White. No, that's Build a Bear. Snow White. <clears throat> hmm? There's multiple Snow White things. Of course. <clears throat> nah, we just been talking about the group. Randy's in the group. It's a good group. If you want to be a moderator for the group on Facebook, meaning that you're just looking for a-holes and kicking them out. We haven't had any yet, but just saying. Tommy thinks it's sexist because there are no men, so I'm opening up to men. It's fair. But Dan's in there. He's a man. True. <laughs> he would not moderate, though. Dan's like, huh? What? I'm like, did you see this in the group? What? We have a group? Hey. Jokes. I know. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Kind of <laughs> true. Kind of true. Ready. Ready? Yep. Incoming. Amanda's done working. Oh, wait, Melissa's here. Hi. Hey. Melissa's one of our group experts, I believe. What'd she say? When did they start using spandex as a fabric? Trying to age this Jessica McClintock dress. By style, it seems late 80s, early 90s. I mean, spandex was definitely in the 80s. I think Olivia Newton-John. Hey, yo. Uh, polyester was ready to wear in the 70s. Nothing stretched, and then they started to add stretch fibers late seventies, early eighties. In my opinion, I'm sure you can find like dance wear and things that are specialized that had stretch in them, but it's a specialized like the stretch we have today and in in the eighties is very very manufactured, and it's a special technique to get it to get that stretchy. Before that, the bulk of stretch was just in like elastic and elastic. <laughs> Oh, I need to do the video on aging vintage. Mm -hmm. We have that on the list. There's a couple different. What did I do? To cover different um, <clears throat> strategies. Why is it so dark? I'm clicking everywhere. I need to stop. I need to get it together. I need to get it together. <laughs> but like Olivia Newton John, let's get physical, physical. She was definitely wearing spandex. All of the same. Mm. I ain't mad about it though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, next. Next is. Uh, which one is this? The Beauty and the Beast? The book one? Oh, look at that. Randy's happy to help. But he, uh, he, he listed all his other stuff that I'm definitely interested in. Websites, databases, mods, Facebook videos, or anything. I'll be happy to help in any way I can. There you go. It's a good tie. It's a really good. Were and you listening to Randy's comment? That was a good comment. Uh, what, if you ever need help, that one? <laughs> yeah. I'll read it. Yeah. That's so nice. Thank you. <laughs> All right. What is the next thing? That's uh, the book. Bell. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Stop. A D and G suit and a Prada sweater this past weekend. Awesome. Yes, ma'am. What, what size? <laughs> we just sold a D and G shirt. About eighty dollars on Poshmark. Yeah, we did. I mean, we had it for a long time. I thought we would get more. Oh well. Mm -hmm. I'll take eighty dollars. Hey Gretchen, I was just talking about my female squad that I would trust with my life who are mods on our Facebook group. Because we were trying to explain how our Facebook group is so great and like everyone's so kind and that our one rule is don't be an a-hole. And then I was expressing that I had a girl squad that I would trust as my representative and they mod the crap out of it. So I don't know if you guys kick people out, but I don't think you've had to yet, but you would. 
especially Gretchen. She would not mess around. She'd be like, you messing up the chi here. (laughs) (laughs) Drop kick you out of here. (laughs) All right, I'm ready. Yeah, here you go. She said, we would. I know you would. (laughs) And then Tommy said it was sexist, that it only had girls, so then Randy volunteered. So it's good. We've got equal representation now. Yes. Yes, we do. Yet, she means, right? Yeah. Kick anybody out yet? Fingers That's pretty crossed. good because we've got a healthy what, six hundred, seven hundred something people in there now. That's good. Yeah. It's and it's all different levels. Like that's what I would. That's what I think is so magic about it. Because there are people that have literally just started reselling like today. But it doesn't get bogged down with that stuff. It's not like all beginners. Seven people watching. Is that right? Dang. That's what Randy said. No. Oh, dang, Randy. I don't know about that. That might be a record for this channel. You might be right, Randy. Oh, you can look at the data. How do you look at the data? <laughs> I bet you could. You know how to do it. So far, there's only been one questionably unkind comment that. I, oh, I haven't seen it. Did you? Did you flag it? Get him out of here. I don't, I don't have no tolerance. I have zero tolerance. That's what I meant to say. Because every this is the thing. Everybody's trying their best to learn so that they can make money and provide for their family. When you get down to it, who are we to say yeah. you're not good enough or you don't deserve to ask questions? Because we were all there. We're all just trying to like hustle. And everybody's coming in at different parts. The people in our group that are experts and comment continuously on things, like Christine, she deserves a medal. (laughs) Renee, you're not the only beginner. No. No. Is that what it says, Renee? Yeah. Yeah, No, no, no. There's so (laughs) many beginners, which is why I love the group. Because, like, today there were some beginner questions, and Christine comped things for people and sent screenshots almost instantly, like, within 20 minutes. Because I didn't have time to get to it. Yeah. And... There's no, it's, there's no like sass with it or like right. people in eBay thrifters do the let me Google that for you website. <laughs> they're like cheeky about it. I'm like, y'all, they're just asking a question. Leave them alone. No, I don't know if they had more than that on the other channel either. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Whatchamacallit boxes. Who's a whatchamacallit? I don't know, Renee, what, what, what whatchamacallit is. Like the candy bar? <laughs> no, some. I think she's talking about getting like wholesale box or mystery box or something like okay, that. Okay, okay. I think. DMC's trying to provide for my cats. Exactly. <laughs> we have three. Oh, God. Oh, it's just a little snarky. Okay. That's cool. All right, what's next? Uh, little People Jasmine. Y'all, what are we listing? Mm-hmm. Don't judge us by this. Don't judge if us. You want, to take, you want me to go take this to the garage? We got to do these two. Okay. So we'll do those next. Well, I need you to Google image them and save me a draft, please. After you send me Little People Jasmine. Okay, send it on over. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Gretchen has a new YouTube channel. Yeah, she does. She posted the link in our group, but I'm sure you could tell people the channel name here. I still need to go subscribe because it wasn't working for me. Gretchen's one of the moderators over in our group, and she's very knowledgeable from Denver, Colorado. Two very enthusiastic thumbs up. Like four feet tall. 
I can't. It's like 44 inches. I swear, I think this like three quarters picture gives us an edge. What? The profile? Yeah, I think it gives us a little edge. Oh, like the boxes that band guy is selling. Oh, Lord. Okay, Renee, we have some mystery boxes in Poshmark that I think will do you better than those. Those are Gap jeans. Renee might be so new that she doesn't, she needs the warning. Don't, you usually don't want to buy stuff resellers are hawking. Because. Well, Chris's stuff has been listed. Right. So stuff he was willing to list. But he sells things for like $14. Yeah. Like all day, every day. So it depends on what price you could get them at. All right, what's next? Um, what's his name? Farmer Jed, Cowboy Pete, whatever. <laughs> I'll find it. Oh, it's just a cowboy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Probably 95 free shipping. I don't think so. It's not going to work out for my business model. Let me see here. Um, let me just see what people are saying. One hundred and forty a box. So you an know, oceanfront property? No, in Arizona, Tommy. Come on, George Street. Ooh, vintage Scooby Doo wallet. I really want to keep it. This is me and my life. Welcome to my life. Holes and stains. Whoa. Um, Renee, email us because we have some mystery boxes left. We'll be happy to send them to you. They're not $140. No. It was just overstock that we would have listed. We're going to list it if we don't give them to somebody else, sell them to somebody else. There you go, Matt. See, he knows. He's quoting George Strait. Cheers to that. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm. I don't know. Staying out of this. I don't have any dogs in these fights. I just want to list my little people. Except that I didn't have photos. Can you send me photos? I just try to list it with no pictures. Here you go. Deleted your comment in my chat right now? Yeah. I don't know, but it could have been me if your comment got deleted because I don't know how to scroll. 
I'm the only one that could have deleted your comment. I'm so sorry. Say it one more time. We don't have any moderators in here. It's just me trying to scroll with two fingers like a wackadoo. <laughs> I literally, you have heard me this whole podcast. I cannot stroll. I mean, it's not a podcast. This whole live, I can't scroll. I can't find this bunny. Just find a large bunny that's similar. I'm looking. There's nothing coming up on me. All right, I'll try to help you. So we're just going to end with these last two things, right? I think so, yeah. See if you can I find can Elmo. I can definitely, I've definitely found Elmo. Okay. Because he's gunned. He's a gunned 40-inch Elmo. Let's move to Podunk, and you will have to switch it up. What you look for? Now I find more workwear, outdoor wear type stuff. and tra That's a really good comment, Tracy. It was Google, probably. It may have been Google, or it may have been my fat fingers. I don't know. <laughs> Please mash all keys together for an operator. <laughs> Y'all, when Homer Simpson is wearing the moo moo, <laughs> I die. Your fingers are too fat for this phone. <laughs> hey, May. You're not late. You're right on time. Nobody's late. Oh, you're not allowed to post links, I guess. Google auto mod. <laughs> I didn't even know there was one. Interesting. May watch your video, Gretchen. All right, I'm going to comp this. Let's see if we can do this together. Does it have a brand? What, the bunny? Yeah. Dandy. Yeah, Z, like a lot of people are working. This is this is the dream. Dream dream team right here. Right. Let me see if I can figure out what year it is or anything. Right I don't know. It still says MTY International. In China, Dayton, you, you Google Lens did it? Yeah, that's right. How tall is it? It's like 44 inches, 46 inches, something. I tried to accurately measure it over here on the table. Get away! Oh, put it, Cameron, put it in the group. Are you in the Facebook group? 44. Can't be an a-hole over there, though. Head to toe, 44. 44, okay. Not that you're an a-hole. I'm just, that's our only rule. So if that's your plans, we will foil them. There's a whole thread on YouTube videos. Or you could just make your own posts. We have no rules, except for one. Just one. Just one rule. <laughs> Slowly slipping slushy pink Moscato. Y'all, these Easter bunnies are a little freaky. I'm just not going to lie to you. Should we go to Worth Point? I don't know. He's got a hat and his little vest and his jeans and everything. So zoom in on like the pattern on his hat. Did you? I didn't not quite on the hat. Let me Let's see if it'll let me worth point. I can do just the pattern. Exactly. Randy, you're in. 
He said, don't be an asshole unless you're being an asshole to an asshole to remove them. Right. You're in. You passed. To me, I'm just the pattern doesn't help. Okay. Sorry. See, this is something I would put in the group, and someone would be like, oh, it's right here. Nothing. Uh, it's definitely 44 inches. Yeah. Well, maybe a little more with the, I mean, his feet are kind of, you know, like this. Cute. Why did you buy this without comping it? We're all good. We're all good. It's fine. Just stuck with this rabbit. He's making it up. Thank you, Teresa. Good night. What was that? Hmm? I thought I saw something, but I didn't. This is never going to go to the garage. Great. Just great. Y'all, you're watching Ozark. Are you finishing it? So good. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Found, found, found. This one says 40 inches. Can we agree that it's 40 inches? Um, we can agree that that they made it wrong. Yes. <laughs> sure. We're going to go with this one. Awesome. One watch in the last 24 hours. Hey. 40, not including ears, the bottom of his feet. This is a lot of information. I just want to see how much they charge for shipping. $13. What? No. Oh, maybe it's calculated, though, because they live in Illinois. Okay, here we go. All right, Cameron. Can you like, can someone, anyone out there like Cameron into the Facebook group if you get a chance? Do a pretty rigorous screening process. <laughs> anyone let him in? <laughs> Yeah, I'm so used to doing clothes. Like I do not need this. Jumbo. Are his hands and feet nylon? I don't think any of this is nylon. His face definitely is. Girl, it's like a pumpkin. Oh, it's not. it's not. From here, it looks shiny. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I said Dean's hat and jacket. Um... Make all your Easter nightmares come true. 1980s. 
Probably. Carrot. I don't know when Dandy started doing the gold tags. This one doesn't have it. That's before that. Original. See, I'm making this sound really fancy. Right. So said, struggling with should I should I want wait 24 hours before printing labels or wait till the day after? Mm -hmm. uh, which platform are we talking about? Right, that's important. So here's what I do with plush I don't know what to do with. 99.95 all day, every day. Uh, what are we going to do? Standard shipping ground plus local, and then we're going to edit the shipping cost. How much do you want to charge? For this guy? Yes. Man. 25 at least. Okay, so what we do is we go into our shipping policy, and you can edit... For this specific listing. That's how we get around this when you need a specific price. Oh, no, I'm not sure if it's vintage. I, I don't know your name. Sorry. Hey, hey, hey. All right, I'm ready for huge bunny pictures. Amy knows the names. I don't know names. Not sure if it's vintage. I don't know. Not sure if it's a vintage name. I finally got Amanda's name. Yeah, now I don't I love know. These pictures. Here you go. Are they great? Are they great? Yes. Okay. okay. This is. Can you help Simi? She needs to know about business policy. What would she set up? eBay. Okay. Um, it depends. You get to pick your uh, handling time and. Um, so you get to set your handling time. So if it's one day, you have to. Thanks, tell Karen. You, um, Stop it. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm bumping the price up. <laughs> Stop it! Look at this one. <laughs> hey. hey. All right, which one? <laughs> okay, this one's definitely the cover, right? This one. Uh huh. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Um, so if your handling time is one day, that means anything that sells on Monday, you have to ship on Tuesday. Um, but you can, where do you change that? What, I, I, it's in your policies. Yeah, in your store settings or your... Does that bunny have to pee pee? Seller settings or something. I don't have it in front of me. Otherwise, I'd tell you the exact page to go to. Or, Simi, you could post it in the group. Where do you change your handling time? Or someone in this chat probably knows right away. Right. I think it's in your account settings and then seller settings. I think that's where it is. Yeah, it's in our video, but I'm not sure we ever, like, mm -hmm. fully explored it. Because we just set our shipping to 10 a.m. And then anything that comes after that, we can do it the next day. Yeah. It's called same day shipping, but like, and you can even set it like 8 a.m. Yep. So anything that comes in after 8 a.m. is considered next day. So you kind of get a built in free day, but your listing still say same day shipping. That's a, a hack. A little hack. That is a hack. <clears throat> shipping policies. I think so too. Oh, look. Randy's on it. Oh, okay, okay, Simi, I get your question. You do not want to print it before you take it to the post office. They get really pissy about this. Right. Because their metrics show it as being late. So you want to print it right before you go to the post office. Yeah, you want to print it the same day you plan on scanning it at the post office. If you pr if you print it, she has three-day handling. If you print it three days earlier, they're going to get pissed, Yeah. in my experience. But also, three-day handling might be hurting your metrics. I'm just being honest. You might want to... I'm sorry. There's this big bunny picture. Hold on. Let me just list this. Um, you might... If you're able to. If you're able to, because you can hack. So you could do two-day shipping 
and cut it off at like 8 a.m. So it's in effect three day shipping. If you need that much time, it will help you sell your item because what happens is they tell you the date when you're ser- try to do eBay as a buyer. This is my biggest thing. So if you're if you're shopping eBay for something and it says it will get to you, it will be like eight days the date that they'll give you because it adds the four days plus the four days of either first class if it's not priority. And it looks like a long time. Like what's today? The second? Mm -hmm. So if I was shopping for something, it'd be like, it'll be there by May 10th or 11th. And I'm like, and everybody else has listed. It'll be there by May 4th. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Or fifth or sixth. If it feel it's, it's a different feel when you click on the listing and you see that really far away date. So I would just consider that and maybe change your handling time and back it up at least one day and set your cutoff time in the morning. So it's yeah. like a built-in freebie. But yeah, even yeah, Thomas says he wouldn't do more than two days max. If you want to maximize your sales one day, it's preferable. I agree with that. Totally. But it doesn't include weekends. So that's a good thing. If you sell something after 8 a.m. on Friday, you don't have to ship it out till Monday. Right. So it's just the weekdays that you would kind of have to hustle and get to the post office maybe every other day. And that's just a recommendation from me and the people in the group. Tracy says you can change the date before you print it. I didn't know you could do that. Huh. Yeah, a little buffer. I agree with having a buffer. But once you get into that four-day range, it's got to be affecting your sales. Because I know when I shop on eBay, I'm like, whoa. Yeah. It feels like it's two weeks for some reason. You can change the ship date on labels. I never knew that. Yeah, I didn't either. Very good info. I never knew you could do that. Are we doing the Elmo? Are you... Yeah, you have a full-time job. That's totally understandable. I guess that's why I'm trying to advocate you doing a fake day. Does that make sense what I'm saying? So we have one day shipping. So if someone orders something at 9 a.m., I mean, same day shipping. So if somebody orders something at, at, we have it set off at 10, but we could back it up. So if somebody orders something at 11, even though it's same day shipping, we don't have to ship it till the next day. And it's still considered same day because we set that cutoff time in eBay. But if you were really struggling to get to the post office and you wanted to improve your metrics, you could, I think you could set it as early as 8, 8 a.m. That's what I seem to remember. We haven't done it in a long time, so I could be misspeaking on the times. But I know ours is 10 a.m. Okay, Elmo, did you make a draft? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Hold on. We're going back to Elmo. And then I can take both of these big boys out of the garage. Oh, yes. (laughs) Because I'm going to clean this office while you're gone. I can't. Okay, so this is our last listing. Everybody check in with how many you got done tonight. This is my favorite part of the night, and I always forget to ask. Megan said seven listed and eight cross posted. Yes. Yeah. That's great. Oh, my God, Dan. Rare. Hard to find. I just copied uh, somebody else's. I sold listing. Where does it? Where's that spot, Randy? Oh, Tammy got five. Yes. Three plus feet. Good night. Ten listings earlier today. 45 drafts during the live. Wow. Beast. That's amazing. It's so motivating.
Huh. What? Okay. Yeah, it says it's on the page when you input your dimensions and weight, but it might not be on the bulk on the bulk page. Mm -hmm. I maybe that's what they're talking about. Uh, Tommy and Tracy were talking about changing your ship date. I can see that. I mean, I've never, I've never seen that option. That's so interesting. I mean, we wouldn't need to because we do same day. What was that noise? <laughs> Put almost Amy sized in the description. <laughs> True. Simi, you didn't fail. Yeah, a ton of what? A ton of cleanup on eBay done. So that's something. No, but but um, also, Simi, you're learning. You're asking questions and learning. That's professional development. Right. Tommy says it can be done in bulk as well. Oh, perfect. Cool. I, we've just never looked. You ready for these Elmo pictures? Yeah, I'm ready for Elmo. We just have never had a need because we ship every day except for the weekends. But I realize everybody can't do that. Of course, I realize that. Creepy Elmo. <laughs> the Scotto plus Ben and Jerry's doesn't work for listing for me. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Matt just sold an N64 game on Mercari. Man, you got to figure out Mercari. I got a, I got a freaking N64 system and some games in the garage that I need to test and list. Just list Jeez. it. Mm, cinnamon sugar tortilla chips. You did 17 package and you didn't do the bulk tool. Come on, man. Well, don't be, people, don't be scared. it's so easy. The only thing is okay. The to the hot tip, if you um, if you pull up the bulk shipping page and you use it to print your pick list, and then you go pull all your inventory and weigh and pack up everything like we do, make sure you refresh the page before you start putting in your weights and measurements, or else it won't work. It'll give you uh, errors. Yeah. That's that's the only the only tip. But Randy, you're good at computers. You could totally do this. Yeah. And it just prints them all out. It's great. Yeah, if you print if you print the pick list, it prints the shipping labels in the same order. Yep. So it's real easy to keep it straight. And we just compare our names just for triple redundancy. Yeah. Oh, you ship on Sunday nights, change bulk Monday. But that's not too bad. But if you if you printed the labels on Friday and didn't change it and send it Monday, I think our post office would not be happy about that. But like a night, that's fine. I would think, right? Mm -hmm. Some people got crazy post offices, though. Yeah, they do. We luckily, our post office is really nice. Agreed, Amanda. Agree. Printing the whole trail of labels. Uh -huh. Yeah, my post office, every time I bring a scan sheet in, they're like, can you please teach people how to do this? I'm like, I do. I try. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a... We did it in, in our video. I think we printed a scan sheet, but yeah. we'll do it again. A dedicated... Because I know that people go to YouTube and search how to print a scan sheet. And once you do it once, you're like, oh, right. that's how we do it. And I did figure out how to do it in pilot ship as well. Or somebody told me how to do it. All right, Randy, your assignment is to try bulk shipping tomorrow, even if it's just two or three packages. Maybe it'll be less scary if it's just a few. We haven't sold anything. I don't know what's going on really? today. Dang. No. We have a couple of offers that are low that we need to deal with, which is probably why we haven't sold anything. I'll, I'll do that right now. Yeah, exactly. If you can print Friday and then show a Monday ship date. That's fantastic. I didn't know it was an option. That's really good info. Because that we might run into that when we're going on vacation or, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Dan has to go scan the Poshmarks. They can't. Yeah, understand it either. They don't, they don't care. They don't use. They don't give me a hard time about. It. She's like, oh, this one didn't make it on, huh? I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a PO box. Oh, Dan waits three days for returns. Don't even worry about it. Oh, I gotta process those tomorrow. I gotta issue these refunds. 
or else eBay will do it automatically and then scold me. It happens more often than not. Yeah. But we're just selling clothes, so most of the time it's fit. No, we have not watched that video yet. How to get the cha ching I right. want to watch that. Yeah. I do miss it. Thanks. I appreciate it. Quick, so, quick day trip. Yeah, you guys are Over stuck with day. me tomorrow. We're going to be listing over at my desk. I'm going to list drafts. I mean, hard goods. Why did I say drafts? Oh, nice. You're going to make drafts. I'm going to make drafts and list them because I have a little light box over there just for times like these. Yeah. I'll probably not get anything done. Oh, all the comments. It's a old. ding? Shut up. Evil eyes. It's not a ding, is it? Uh, he just said it's a ding. All right, I'll close him out. Dang. It's a ding. He does this like regularly. Like, no, regularly. no, literally, like every week. It can't be that big of a ding. He seriously does it a lot. I got it up on the other screen. I'll do it. But, like, is it really a ding? I need proof of this. Oh, God. Tommy, you shouldn't have said that. Now she's all paranoid about dings. I am always paranoid about dings. And I'm always like, did you accept the returns? Because that's his job. And then I can't oversee it. And I'm a control freak. Don't tell me it's a ding. Does it show in our percentage? Or does it just show in the algorithm? He swears to God. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's like, what's a ding? <laughs> like a, a demerit, like a mark on your account to show you're not that good. Now he's lying to me. He said he's lying, but he's just lying to me. I get <laughs> I'm Italian. I know what's happening here. We've been getting dings this whole time. Sometimes it's like eight packages. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. It's like eight packages <laughs> sometimes. I've done plenty. I've done plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the ones I haven't. These are due today. It's fine. You better do it before you get a ding. What's today? When's the cutoff? Pacific oh, and there's another one that just came today. We get a lot of returns. Not, mm, I guess not a ton, but like at any given point, we have like six or seven returns coming in. Highlight the respond by it tells you. What does it say? It says you get a ding? Or does it just warn you that you will, but it doesn't really? Because it doesn't affect our percentage, you know, or whatever you call it. Like, if you cancel a sale, right. it affects your percentage. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, I haven't seen any of those go down. So, but I'll do it. I'll do it right now. Let's go. All right. <laughs> we got to go one, process returns. To the garage. Let's go, buddies. All right. Good night, everybody. <laughs> put in the return. What? The cutoff is the time the person put in for the return in Pacific time. Oh. God, here we go. Let's go. Let me go take it. Defect rate. Oh God, y'all freaking me out. Our de our defect rate is not going anywhere. It's under one percent. All right. Good night, guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Stop. <laughs> You're freaking people out. They're gonna have nightmares.